QLC Plus Web Interface Part 2 DMX Keypad. So hopefully you've watched Part 1 where I do an overview of the web interface for QLC Plus. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about a part of that program that you can use that's called a DMX Keypad. And the way you access the DMX Keypad is I simply go up here and click on Simple Desk. I'm showing this on my phone which will bring up that and then you'll see another button that says DMX keypad and I'll click on DMX keypad and I'm going to rotate my phone to portrait mode and you'll see the very very familiar keypad that's used on a lot of the older lighting consoles and you can use this as a focus remote when you're focusing lights down on stage and it's very very nice because you can have your phone in your pocket. I've got a very simple setup here. I've got 10 incandescents and I've got five RGB lights. The incandescents are DMX addresses 1 through 10. The RGBs are DMX addresses 11 through 25. So using the keypad is somewhat straightforward. If I would want to turn on lights 1 through 10, and I'm going to go to DMX values here right now, so like DMX values, and the keypad is kind of in default mode at DMX values. So I simply type in 1, through 10. That's my fixtures and you'll see 1T10 which means 1 through 10 at the A and then a DMX value of 255 which would be full and just click enter. Now you'll see DMX channels 1 through 10 are at full value at 255. The command line is emptied after you hit enter so that you'll have to retype things. Nothing stays in the command line. So I'll type in 1 through 10 at 125 enter. Now it reduces them down to a value of 125. I can turn off individual channels by selecting the channel number and then clicking reset channel. For example, if I just want to turn off fixture number 5, I would simply type 5 and then reset channel and you'll see that 5 goes down to 0. You cannot use the through context to do reset channel. It'll only do one light at a time. So if I wanted 5 and 6, I'll have to type 6 separately. I'm going to type 6, reset channel. It will reset channel 6 down to 0. In order to reset them all back to 0, I simply click reset all and then they're all set down to 0. If you prefer to use percentages instead of DMX values, you can also do that. Let me switch my DMX display here to percent values. Let's say we want to do fixtures 1 through 5 at 50%. I would simply type 1 through 5 percentage plus 50. So you see that plus and that indicates the 50, the percentage, and then 50 and hit enter and the lights will jump to 50%. Now, if I type plus 20, we're going to put a percentage in again. It's going to increase the lights by 20%. So they're not going to go to 20%. They're going to increase by 20. So I'm going to do 1 through 5. Add percentage 20%. Enter. And you'll now see that they've jumped up to 70. So that's how the percentage buttons work. If I wanted to decrease this down to say 20%, then I'm going to want to subtract 50. So I would say... 1 through 5, reduce percentage by 50%, enter, and now we're down to 20%. And then we can simply click reset. The full button works very, very easily. If I want to say lights 1 through 3, full, you'll notice the command line says 1 through 3 at 255, so it's doing the DMX value. Click enter, and lights 1 through 3 are up at 100% or a DMX value of 255. And just as easily I can zero them out also. I can say 1 through 3 0 and you'll see in the command line 1 through 3 at 0 0 and hit enter and it will knock those back down. So that is one way of doing uh, if lights, let's say I had lights 1 through 10 full enter. They're at full 255 and I can do 
percentage. But I can say, let's say I want to turn off lights 5, 6, and 7. I can do 5 through 7, 0, enter. Now 5 through 7 is at 0. The other lights remain up at 100%. I'm going to click Reset All. Now the buy comes in handy when you have something like these generic RGBs. Let's say I wanted to turn on just my red channel of my red, green, blue lights. Just have the red come up. So I have DMX addresses 11 through 25. So I'm going to type 11 through 25 by threes. So it's going to do every third address. So it's going to do 11, skip to 14, skip to 17, skip to 20, skip to, and 23, skip to. Now I have to put in a value. And you'll see in the command line, um, 11 through 25 by threes. And I can do at 255 and then hit enter. And then you'll see that my red channels all came up at 100%. And I could do the same thing here. I can do 12 through 24. 12 through 24 by threes, full, enter. And you'll now see that the green channels have come up. So that's what the buy command is. It helps you to skip DMX channels and make that programming a little bit faster instead of having to type each one in individually. So, all right, and then I'm just going to hit reset all. That's pretty much the features of the DMX pad, but I think you'll find this very handy as a remote focus tool when you're aiming your lights.